Okay, in the last video I showed you how to calculate the distance of the mouse from the line that could be defined by this turret vector, but it spans the entire screen. Okay, and that's the first of two sets of tests we need to do to see whether we want to allow the user to grab this turret and rotate this turret around the ship. Okay, the reason why uh, the distance to the line won't work just by itself is if the user comes way out here, they're still close to the line. Notice the values up here in the upper left-hand corner are pretty close to zero out here. But if I push the mouse down and then the turret starts moving with the mouse, well, that's not very intuitive. We want to select just the turret. Well, let me show you a trick. This comes from Jim Cobb. I, I believe he invented it or figured it out. I don't know. I, I learned it from Jim Cobb, so let me give credit where credit's due. Uh, I want to find out if the mouse is relatively close to the turret. All right, and uh, there's a simple trick we can do depending on how good I can draw a circle around this turret. Oh, that's not a very good circle, but we'll roll with it. In fact, actually, you know what? I'm going to draw, let's draw a really big circle, and let's pretend the turret is this length, just so we can see it. Okay? Um, if I have, let's, let's do two different mouse positions. All right, I'm going to do one mouse position right out here. And we'll do another mouse position right in here. Okay. Well, let's let's form some vectors by subtracting these, subtracting the mouse position from the endpoints of the turret. So if I if I make this vector by subtracting the mouse position from that endpoint, and this vector by subtracting the mouse position from that endpoint, um, notice this angle here is is rather obtuse or rather large. Okay, now let's go do the uh, other mouse position. I'm going to subtract this mouse position from the endpoint, just like I did on the other one. And we'll put that one right there. Notice this angle here is not obtuse. It's, it's less than 90 degrees. This one's greater than 90 degrees. So where's the sweet spot? When do we go from uh, being larger than 90 degrees to less than 90 degrees, or perfectly 90 degrees? Where do we, where are we? at a perfect 90 degree angle or pi over 2 if we're talking radians. Well, it just so happens that any point on the circle would cause that. And let's do, I'll do blue and my circle's not perfect. Uh, it's either my drawing skills are a little weak, but notice that's yeah, kind of close to 90. Look, it's looking, it looks a little perpendicular-ish, so to say. Any point on the circle would cause that. All right, so I want to know if my mouse is within the circle, because if my mouse is within the circle, then I know I'm pretty close to this line segment. So I need to know whether the mouse is within the circle. It could be the first test I do, it could be the second test. I don't care. It's one of two tests that you need to do to determine whether your mouse is close to this line segment here. All right. Before the last videos I showed you how to get, find out if it's close to the line, now I want to do just this line segment. Well, hopefully the code's pretty straightforward. I just subtract these two. And then, what's my next step? Well, hopefully with, with the, you're getting used to doing dot products, Remember the dot product, if I, I'll actually go to the effort of drawing the equation out. If Let's say this is S, and or we'll just do A, this is A, and this is B. So the dot product of A and B is equal to magnitude of A, magnitude of B, uh, times the cosine of theta. Well, when will this equation ever go negative? Lengths of vectors, vectors can't be a negative length. Right? Lengths are always positive. So there's no way that either one of these terms will make this equation go negative. So the only thing that can make this equation go negative is cosine. Well, when does cosine go negative? Cosine goes negative when the angle is greater than 90 degrees. Okay, and I, and I know there's a, there's a period to it, and it wraps around. It goes 0, 1, positive 1, negative 1. But in this case, if our angle is obtuse, then we'll get negative. And so anywhere inside this circle, if we're in within the circle, our angle will be 2, so and cosine, or the dot product, will return a negative value. I don't care about the actual um, value that's returned by this expression. I only care about the sign. Key concept. Is it positive or negative? If it's negative, I'm within the circle. If it's positive, this angle is less than 90 degrees, I know I'm outside the circle. Okay, so hopefully uh, we can code this up and it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to screenshot this real quick just so I can refer to it. We'll get the snipping tool and grab this. 
Should be good. Move that to the side. Clear the screen. Close this. All right. So let's just make another one. Bool is mouse within a turret circle. So hopefully you would generalize this equation, throw it into your engine. But we'll just do do the certain case here. So so I need referring back to this diagram. I need these two vectors. Well, how do I get these? two vectors. I, to get the first vector, I uh, it doesn't matter which way you subtract as long as we're consistent. I'm going to take the uh, mouse position, subtract it from the position of the ship, and then to get this other vector, I need to subtract the mouse position again from the position of the ship plus the turret vector. So I'll say that ten times. Let's do, let's do it this way. Vector 2, test vector 1, get some, let's see, the position of the ship minus the mouse position, or mouse event. Oh, I don't have the mouse position. I'm just going to copy and paste this code down here. All right, because copy and pasting makes me feel like a real good programmer. Okay, mouse position. Um, and then let's say vec2, test, vec, come on, vec, oh, I'm trying to get IntelliSense to complete my variable name for me. Oh, it's been a long day. That is going to be the position plus the turret position, turret position, good, minus the mouse position. Okay, so that gives me my two test vectors, these test vectors there. Well, to get the angle between them, or the sign, remember, all I care about is the sign of the angle. Uh, I just need to do the dot product. So return uh, dot t test vector one, test vector 2 less than 0. If it's less than 0, meaning it's negative, I know that my mouse has entered into this circle because the angle is obtuse. Okay? So let's uh, let's debug that as well. I'm going to say, let's next to debug float here, I'm going to say int, uh, or actually just do bool, debug bool, and uh, in my update, Where's my update right here? In my update function, I'll say debug. Bool gets, uh, what I call it, is mouse within within turret circle. Okay, and then again in the uh, draw function, let's let's draw the value here. So we have our, uh, let's just reuse our buff, our buffer, okay? So after we've drawn that string, we just say uh, sprint f, let's safe version, buff, I think it's, uh, if I remember right, percent D, uh, and then debug bool. All right, and then uh, G dot draw string, uh, zero on the X, let's go down, I don't know, 25 on the Y, and let's write out buffer. Okay, run that. Hopefully that builds. There we go, let's get our ship onto the screen here. Notice I have the zero hanging out here. This is the result of our circle test. Let's see if I get close to the circle, bring it in. See it goes to one right in there. There's that sweet spot. In fact, I can almost use it to draw a circle. See? So one zero one zero. So this number tells us how far away from the line are we? And then this uh Boolean number so to say is uh telling us are you within the circle? Okay, now, ideally, we don't want to let the user grab the turret out here. And in this case, right here, notice my, I have a 1 and I have a 13. Okay, but this is probably too far away from the turret to allow the user to grab the turret. So if you notice, a after we've passed both tests, what we really want to test for is w the mouse has to be pretty close to that turret, within maybe, I don't know, 5 pixels at the most. Okay, if they're within this 5 pixel region around the turret, we want to allow the user to grab the turret. So that's something I'm going to explore in the next video. But now we have our two tests that show, hey, are you, are you on that turret?